Welcome to this new video about the Sensor Hub. You will learn here how to connect a Sensor Hub to our CNC 760 controller. Also, we will show you how to use these sensors to measure something. Just so you know, we're going to assume that you are already familiar with the Sensor Hub. If not, I would recommend looking at the previous video to learn more about the Sensor Hub's usage and configuration. Now, let's continue. We're going to use the CNC 760. You can find information about this board on docs.eatingqnc.com. We will show you how to find information about how to configure the Sensor Hub before connecting it to the probe input. So, first we go to the website. Next, click on Hardware at the top left. Scroll down and look for CNC 760 Manual. Now on the right side scroll down to Inputs and look for Probe Input. Here you see that the probe input needs 24 volts as an input signal. So, we check to see if the sensor hub is set to 24 volts and connect it to the CNC 760 breakout board. On the breakout board, the probe input is indicated by PR. Note that we also use the 24 volts directly from the controller. Once this is done, start up the software and check in the I.O. screen that the probe input changes when you activate one of the sensors. When the sensor is activated, you should see the probe indicator toggling, showing you the sensor is seen by the controller. Probing is done by using the GCO G38.2. We'll demonstrate this through the MDI dialog and type the command G38.2x30. After you press enter, the machine moves to position 30 on the x-axis. Note that the controller does this by itself to ensure the position capturing is as accurate as possible. It will either stop when it has reached this position or the probe input is activated. It's important to understand that the position at which the machine stops is not the actual position at which it captured the probe event. The machine will, of course, take a little time to decelerate so that would not be accurate. To find the actual position, you need to look at the Variables tab. Here, you see the probing results at the top left. The value probe 1 indicates that the probing was successful. Hovering over the variable shows you the memory variable that you can use in your own macro to check for this automatically. A little below that you see the resulting capture value. These coordinates can be used in your macros. For example, based on the values, you can do measurements. One final issue we promise to address is the fact that the output of the sensor hub is active when the connected sensors are not. When writing a macro for our controller and using a sensor, it can be handy to detect that the sensor is actually connected. If you write a macro, you can use the line M code M56B61 to check whether the input is high or low. Based on that condition, you can continue forward executing your macro or not, preventing possible damages to your machine. Let me demonstrate this. We remove the signal from a sensor input and notice what happens to the sensor output. It will be low this way, for example, you could also add a remark to connect the sensor in your macro before using it. We hope you liked this video. Subscribe to get more in the future.